guys, it's Rubik's Cube 88 here, back with my second video. I think I already have three subscribers, so thank you for subscribing. Um, so yes, thank you for subscribing to my channel, you have three subscribers. Um, once again, shout out to um, I'm a Cuber. Um, um, his channel name will be right here on the screen. I, I'm a Cuber. Go onto YouTube, search up I'm a Cuber. His profile picture is in is a picture of his cube on a stand. Please subscribe to him. He has great Rubik's Cube tutorials. He is way better than me. So yes, I'm a cuber. Go on to YouTube, search up I'm a cuber. His profile picture is of his cube on a stand. Please go subscribe to him. And he has some great content. Alright, so in this video, um, we are going to solve this whole middle layer. Okay, so this all this whole middle layer. Is going to be the same color. So in the first video, we saw the whole white side and the whole first layer. Now it's going to be onto the second layer. But now we're going to run into some algorithms because how are we going to solve this middle layer without messing up this and all this that we have created? That's what algorithms are for. There are two algorithms that you need to know in this. Two. So uh, here is an example of what the middle layer looks like when completed. We have it's again the white side and the top layer, the whole all the same color but then we have this middle layer so this is all blue this middle you turn it this is all orange this is all green and this is all red so this is what the first two layers looks like it's the whole white side is solved and these first two layers are solved so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial okay so now let's get right into um, solving the, the middle layer. So in order to solve the middle layer, we're going to have to have the white side on the bottom, which makes the yellow side facing you or up. So the white side on the bottom. And all we're going to do is find one of these four edge pieces on top with no yellow. All right, so we're going to look. So this has yellow, we can't use this. This is orange yellow, we can't use this. But if we turn it, this has yellow, we can't use this green and yellow. We turn we can use this, this has yellow, and this has yellow. So, first case, when they all have yellow, all you're going to do is you're going to hold the cube whichever way you want. And then, if they all have yellow, you're going to do this algorithm. R U R prime U prime Then you are going to turn the cube so the white is on facing straight at the left. This right corner is facing on the left. Then you're going to do this algorithm. L prime, U prime, L. Now, if we look in the top layer, uh, this has yellow, we can't use this. But this doesn't. This blue and orange does not have yellow. So, um... All you're going to do is you're going to look at the color that's facing you. So find an edge with no yellow. This doesn't have yellow. Look at the color that's facing you. In my case, it is orange. This is not matched up with the orange. This is matched up with the red. So look at the color that's facing you, and you have to turn it until you connect it with its center. Okay, so this is orange, and this is orange. So these two are connected. So it kind of looks like we have a large T here, right? So find one with no yellow. And look at the color that's facing you. You're going to match it up with its center. So these two are orange. And then you're going to look at the top color. This is blue. The blue side will either be on the left or on the right. In my case, the blue is on the right. So these two need to replace these two. We can't do this because then we mess up our white. So we have to rotate that back. So you have to match the color that's facing you with its center. And then the, look at the top color. In that case, it's blue. If your top color is on the right, you're going to do this algorithm. You're going to move it away. So you. So here you have um, the oranges match up and this blue and this blue is on the right. So if your blue is on the right or your color is on the right, you're going to move it away just once. So you're going to move this blue away from the blue so they're opposite okay because again you're gonna if it's on the right you're gonna move it away if it was on the left you're gonna move it away this way 
but in our case, the blue is on the right, so we're gonna move it away this way. Then, once you move it away, you're going to do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. Then, hold the cube, so the white is, the white piece is facing on the left, and then do this algorithm. L prime, U prime, L. And now, as you can see, after doing that, we have just placed in our first middle layer edge. Because look, these two are actually connected. And we have kept our white in our first layer. That's exciting, so congratulations, you have solved the first white edge. Not the white edge, the middle layer edge. Once again, white on the bottom, you're going to find a piece with no yellow. So this has yellow, we can't use this. This has yellow, we can't use this. This has yellow, we can't use this. But this doesn't. This is red and blue. Look at the color that's facing you. It's blue. This is not matched up with the blue. We're gonna turn it until it's matched up with the blue side, okay? Then look at the top color. It's red. The red's not on the left. It's on the right again. So if your top color, once again, is on the right, and you have matched these two up, and if your top color is on the right, then you're going to do this algorithm. You're gonna move it away. So you, so once again, this is on the right, so you're gonna move it away. Then do this. R, U, R prime, U prime. Hold it till the white's on the left, and then do L prime, U prime, L prime. And we have two out of the four edge pieces placed in. We have this orange and blue white edge, not white. There's just this blue and orange edge, and then we have this blue and red edge. So we just have two more. We have this edge and this edge. So once again, white on top, find a piece with no yellow. This doesn't have yellow. This is green and orange. Look at the color that's facing you. It's orange. Turn it until it gets on the orange side. So these two are matched up. Then look at this top color. This is green. This time the green is on the left. So if your top color is on the left, you're going to move it away. Then do this algorithm. L prime, U prime, L, U. Then hold it so the white this time is on facing right. And then do R, U, R prime. Now we have three out of the four. We have this green and orange. We have this orange and blue. And we have this blue and red. Now we just have one more, which is this edge. Once again, white on top, find one with no yellow. This doesn't have yellow, this is green and red. Uh, turn until the, the color that's facing you is matched up with its center. So this is, so these two are red. And look at this top color, it's green. The green is on the right. So once again, if your top color is on the right, you're going to move it away and do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. Hold it so the white is facing to the left, and then do L prime, U prime, L. And look at that, we have kept our white, we have kept our first layer, but we're doing that, we have actually solved this whole middle layer, actually. So that is how to solve the middle layer, or the second layer of the Rubik's Cube. So, thank you for watching. Please uh, comment, like this video, and subscribe for more content. The next video should be up sometime tonight, so stay tuned for that and subscribe for more coming videos. And the next video will be how to solve the rest of the cube, or the last layer of the cube. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.